Hello, welcome back to Chaz Coy. Just a really quick update for you all because I've got a bit of a backlog with the videos that I've been preparing because I've been super focused on getting the tank finished. So just in terms of what I want to cover today, I'm going to just give you a quick update on the tank, what it all looks like now, it's all completely finished. We have got our first fish. I'm going to talk through the process where we got those, uh, very excited about that, and give you a quick sneak peek and again a video to follow of, of them being introduced to the tank and everything. A quick rundown of the videos we've got coming up, a quick review of the videos that we've posted so far, uh, and also, and most importantly, um, I've got some very exciting news to share with you all because I've received some correspondence uh, and we have a special guest visitor from YouTube. So thanks for tuning in, stick around, uh, and I hope you enjoy this video. But actually, if you are new to the channel, then it's worth me just giving you a quick overview of what we're about. So I've always wanted a pond, uh, always loved animals. I've had a fish tank in the past, um, but this year I thought I'm doing some work in the garden, I'm gonna build my pond. 2023 is gonna be the year that I get my pond. Um, I started building this in my head, designing this dream pond, but quite quickly realized I need to learn how to keep fish first. So I haven't seen lots of people online building grow on tanks to uh, grow fish in and keep them in over the winter. I thought I'm gonna start there. So I've um, started with a, an above ground uh, grow on tank um, so I can learn about fish keeping, learn about keeping the water, understand the hobby of, of fish keeping, in particular koi keeping, uh, before I start digging a massive hole in the ground and building this very expensive uh, and involved pond. So check out my other videos and I go through kind of um, how I've approached the design, where I've sourced my materials. I'm a keen DIYer, so I share lots of tips, of tips tricks and hints uh, on things I've learned on doing DIY over the years. Uh, and I share my learning experience with you. I've gained so much valuable information from watching numerous other YouTubers uh, and, and their koi keeping journeys, how they've approached building their ponds and tanks. So I've launched this channel to kind of uh, keep a record of my uh, learning process and how I've approached it so I can look back and see, you know, what I've done and how I could do things differently. And also to share that experience with you. So um, that's a quick intro to the channel. So let's get straight back to today's update video. So first off, uh, just a very quick overview of the tank. Gonna give you a quick walk around, uh, show you what I've been doing, how I've finished it, uh, and also my filtration setup. So let's get outside and have a wander around. Here we have the completed grow on tank. Here's my little electrical cupboard. Inside the little filter, filter box. Keep calling it a filter house, not quite a house. Uh, we've got f uh, 40 litre per minute, um, air pump, pressure filter, we've got built in UV which is off at the minute, we've got a clover leaf 1 kilowatt heat heater, barrier pump 10,000 uh, and a little manifold for me air stuff in there. Um, in the tank we've got float switch, biological filter over there, moving bed one, uh, and I've got a makeshift bottom drain down there, aerated one. Um, this is my fresh water feed that comes in via a three-stage filter dechlorinator off the tap there. Uh, and we've got drainage down there for when we do our water cleans. Uh, I'm really pleased with how the tanks turned out. It was a lot of effort, more than I thought. Um, and I had a bit of scope creep around the edges as well, because I had to end up, uh, like I've shown you in the video, I've had to put things like heaters in, which I really didn't want to have to do. Um, but I am super pleased with it. Uh, it looks pretty decent in the garden. It's not as awful as I thought it might be. Uh, and it seems to be up and running and working well and the fish seem to be settling in okay. So, so I'm so chuffed uh, and excited to actually finally have my first two koi. We got them from the, the koi water barn, um, a growing show event that was arranged by uh, Eden Koi. Great day. And again, I've got a short video to share on that. I didn't take much content because I was just so excited to be there and, and I wanted to keep focused on um, meeting, meeting Dave and the team there at koi water barn and, and choosing the fish. So let's get to it and I'll show you a quick video of them. So here's our new fishes. Do you want to introduce them, Emily? This is Bob, the... Kaku. Kaku, and this is Pascal, the... Um... Koreshi Goy. Yes. They're just chilling. Yeah, just got them home. In terms of upcoming videos, um, I've got a video coming on all the plumbing and pipe work and I'll put the filter in and, and the pump and everything. I'll give you a quick overview of my air system and how I've plumbed all that in and how I can control all of that. I've got a video coming on how I installed my heater. Uh, and this can also include uh, how much electricity that uses and some of the decisions I made about temperatures. Introducing the fish. 
Uh, I've been keeping a very close eye on the water levels and how I'm going through new pond syndrome begin, considering that's a brand new tank with brand new filters. And also I've got, as I like, I do like an unboxing video. So I've got a couple more of them coming up as well. So please give me a like, please give me a subscribe, hit the notifications if you want to be notified when those new videos hit the channel. Uh, and once again, thanks ever so much for all of your engagement that I've received so far. It means a lot. So as I said in my little intro, I was I came home from uh, work the other day and I was very excited to be welcomed by this on my doorstep. So I was like, whoa, something from YouTube. So um, I just thought I'm so excited to share this with you because I've only been doing the YouTube channel for a couple of weeks now. I've been super um, excited about all the responses, engagements that I've had. Um, subscribers off the bat, which is again something I've never wouldn't would have expected, and I want to thank everyone for their support um, and taking the time to watch the channel, give me a like, a comment, and subscribe, and people even sharing the channel and and trying to engage with their subscribers to follow me. So from the bottom of my heart, I want to thank you and to receive some communication from YouTube addressed to Chaz Coy, and I just didn't expect it. So um, yeah, open this. And I was going to read this out to you, but I'm, in, I'm immensely privileged to be joined today, actually, by um, the representative from YouTube that sent this to me. So I'd like to welcome Emily to Chaz Coy. Chaz Coy. And uh, I think you should read this out to our viewers. Dear Chaz Coy, when you passed 10 subscribers, we were surprised. Then 15, we knew you were close. Now you've done it. 20 subscribers. Well done. We hope you enjoy your award from YouTube. Oh wow, so thank you. So, what's in here? And as well, I would like to present to you your cardboard play button. That's absolutely fantastic. This award is presented to Chascoy for surpassing 20 subscribers. Oh wow, well thank you very much. And I'm gonna treasure this. And I think I'm gonna have to find somewhere very special to display this, so I think it's going to have to go up here somewhere. Maybe I'll put it there for the time being, and then when I've got a bit more time, I can put it up, I can put it up, up on the wall. On the so, yes, well, come here, Ems. Thank you very much um, for my YouTube Cardboard Award and for your contributions to my videos. You're welcome. So, Emily and I um, have got a lot of a couple more videos in the works that feature you haven't you done a yes. product review an unboxing mm -hmm. on our on our air pump um and what else the other ones you've been in we've got um the other videos to share coming up are uh when we bought our first uh fish what are they called bob and pascal and where did we get them from we got them from Koi Water Barn. Yes, and uh, we went to the growing show that was arranged between Koi Water Barn uh, and Eden Koi. Great day, great event. So we've got that video to share with yes. you as well as a few others. Yeah, so selfie as well. Yeah, maybe oh, there's a cheeky selfie in there, mm -hmm. but well, that's all to come. So yeah, thanks everyone for tuning in. Thanks for sticking around. Hope you enjoyed this little update and uh, we look forward to sharing lots more videos and mm -hmm the new fish with you. So take care and see you soon. Bye. Bye. Oh, and actually, just before I go, I got this, <laughs> I'm gonna share this now and I'll share it again when I do the, the Koi Water Barn video because I took this uh, little video of the the fish at the Koi Water Barn in the, in the uh, quarantine tanks and this little chap just popped out of me and he is by far and away the happiest looking little baby fish you will ever see in your life. Check him out.